Hey everyone, welcome back, Lieutenant Dan. And today we are going to answer a question from Donovan from another video. Donovan asked um, when he turns his tank off, right, cha, that the high pressure gauge falls, but this one stays. So, what situation would occur where the low pressure gauge would fall, the high pressure gauge, sorry, the high pressure gauge would fall, the low pressure gauge would stay because when we bleed off our pressure, which one is going to drop first? We're going to drop our high pressure gauge is going to fall to near zero and then the low pressure gauge is going to follow and then they both hit zero at the same time. But what Donovan has is his high pressure gauge drops, the low pressure gauge stays when the tank is shut off. So what's going on? So take a piece of paper, write down your answer, and hold it up to the screen. And uh, we'll take a look and see what you came up with. Okay, uh, so uh, hold your paper up to the screen, and uh, we'll get to that here at the end, but just uh, just keep holding that up. So, Donovan, here's what's happening. So, this this is the end that's connected to your uh, to your kegs. This is our high pressure gauge. This is our low pressure gauge. Working pressure, tank pressure, high pressure, low pressure. Okay. Why is this one falling and this one not? Well. If this is, if our regulator is backed all the way off, this guy here, let's see what happens when, so tank, so the tank is open, now the tank is closed, all right? So let's see what happens. When I loosen her up. Look at that. Boom. The high pressure gauge falls to zero. The low pressure gauge stays put. So, Donovan, what you have... Uh, come out of there. What you have is a leak somewhere back here. Either you have a leak in the stem of your tank, which is underneath here, or your gasket, your crush gasket here, is destroyed. So most likely that's what's happening. You turn your gas off, you're leaking out here, you're losing this pressure, especially if this is backed all the way out. This will stay the, uh, stay the same. There is one other thing that could possibly be happening. And that is if this gauge has been struck and the needle is being pinched between this metal, uh, the metal platen with the printing on it. If this guy, if this gauge has been dropped and this has been bent forward, this gauge may be uh, trapped. And then no matter what you do, this guy's going to stay still. So I hope this helped. Thank you for the question. Thank you for watching. Uh, all of you people holding up your uh, your paper to your screen. Um, we'll get to that in the next video. Just keep holding those up and we'll get back with you. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.